So we just talked about the fact that you really can't tell by looking at a beer whether it's an ale or a lager. Okay. And that color has nothing to do with whether something is an ale or a lager. And uh, what influences the color in a beer is the okay. malt. Okay. Now, malt is a term that people have often heard but haven't really thought about. And in general, when we're talking about malt, we're talking about malted barley. Okay. Having said that, the term malt can be used to refer to any grain. But as a general rule, when we're talking about beer, if it's not malted barley, they will say which grain it is. So, for okay. example, malted wheat, they will refer to as malted wheat. Okay. Or wheat malt, I presume. But when they just give the generic malt, it's, it's barley. It's pretty safe to assume. Okay. That is malted barley. Now there are different ways that you can roast barley, and this will not only affect the color of the beer, but the flavor of the beer. Okay. So I've brought in a few malts for us to taste, and what I want us to do is taste them first, and then we'll taste the beers and see if we can follow through with the flavors there. Sure. So this is a pale ale malt. Okay. And uh, so if you want to have a little taste of that. So it's very blonde in color, very light color. Mm hmm. What you're getting there? I'm getting. It's very sweet. It's sweet. And it's it's a, a very light flavor. It's not it's not an overpowering flavor. Still get that grainy, like a, like a flavor of grain. Excellent. And the graininess is what I really wanted to point out here because the sweetness is the sugars, mm -hmm. and those will be consumed by the yeast mm -hmm. and they'll disappear. But that grainy sort of bready flavor, yeah, is what I really wanted you to notice. So well done. Let's move on to this. This is a caramel malt. Okay. The caramel malts are generally not kiln, they're roasted. Okay. And so what happens is through, through a process that they use, they have the sugars come out first and then they roast them and that caramelizes the sugars. Definitely get that flavor. You can taste, this is a lot right. sweeter. Yeah, right away. And what the result of this is that a lot of the sugars are consumed by the yeast, but there's a lot of residual sweetness and sort of caramel flavors that comes when you use this sort of malt. And the grainy note that I tasted in this one isn't expressed as much in this. Not as much. Yeah. Now keep in mind that most beers are a combination of, of malts and that's part of the art of brewing. But I think you'll find once we've had these grains that when we taste the beers you'll really be able to pinpoint them in there. I could eat malt all day. It's yummy, eh? It is really good. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got mm -hmm. this in my hand. I might as well finish it. Yeah. If ever you're near a brewery when they're brewing, getting the spent grains right after the brew, mm -hmm. mm -mm. it's like a bowl of cereal. All right, so this last malt that we're tasting is a chocolate malt, as you can see. Very, very dark. Very dark in color. And uh, I would recommend not taking too many of these because they have a very overwhelming flavor. There's an astringency there. There is, yeah. And it, it's kind of strange to say, but it, it tastes dark. It's got a dark flavor. It's got a, an almost, an almost, not quite burnt flavor, but a, a very, you know, like a blackened steak. It still tastes good, but you, you can feel the... Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, some people say, well, it is a chocolate malt. It can impart chocolate characteristics. I find that eating it straight like this, I don't really get a chocolate character necessarily. No. But definitely a dark, mm -hmm. bitter. Yeah. And this is a grain that you probably wouldn't want to use too much in. Just a little bit can really add a lot of flavor to a beer. So you, you wouldn't brew completely using this. This would just kind of flavor a, a lighter, a probably. lighter malt. Okay. There are very few beers that are brewed with just one sort of malt. Mm -hmm. Generally, they want to, brewers want to blend them to create different characteristics, and uh, to accommodate the yeast, which is something that we will talk about later. Okay.